Hello, everybody, and thank you for joining us today for our webinar. My name is Erica Basil, and I'm with Concerto Cloud Services, and I will be your moderator for today. Our guest speakers will discuss how Acumatica and Concerto work together to grow their customers' business with a modern compliance and security healthcare ERP solution. So our presenters today is the Director of Product Marketing with Acumatica, Ray Rebello, and then we also have Tony Nestler, who is a Channel Sales Manager with Concerto Cloud Services. And here is a overview of our agenda for today. Uh, first, we will review Acumatica's unique service offerings and business management software. Then we will get into the different cloud options there are for the life sciences industry. Then Tony will take over and talk about Concerto's virtual private cloud, our enhanced security uh, package, Concerto's cloud for healthcare, and our multi-cloud capabilities. After we will show and go through a partner success story that we've already seen today with Concerto and Acumatica. And at the very end, we will take your questions. So you can just type those out in the chat section and we will get to those at the end. So we will start off with Ray, who is our first presenter. Thank you, Erica. I'm with Acumatica. And a lot of folks are learning a lot about Acumatica, all the press we've been getting. Uh, but if you haven't um, uh, been a customer of ours before or you're new to Acumatica, I'm going to spend a few minutes uh, telling you why we are here and why we are different. About 10 years ago, 2006, a couple of industry veterans got together you know, and, and compiled their knowledge of business processes in the mid-market and the enterprise space. They decided to build a completely new product out there that allowed not only uh, uh, cloud access, but other types of access, including mobile, uh, with uh, tools that you're going to hear about later. I, I'm not going to uh, talk a lot about that right now because there's a big slide on that is, that explains it much better than that. Here we are today, after 10 years, we're the fastest growing cloud ERP company growing year over year as reported in the beginning of this year. And we have over 4,000 customers around the world. One thing that makes us unique is our sales and support is done through partners. We are a technology developer and a solution provider. We help our partners, but our partners do all the sales and support for our customers locally, and we handle the uh, really difficult issues uh, in our support centers around the world, particularly in uh, Moscow, Montreal, uh, Mexico, and Ohio. There's a uh, staff of quite a few Acumatic employees. And how has that worked out for us? Well, it has really paid off. We receive uh, three awards in PC Magazine, which does extensive hands-on testing, and we actually are in the Gartner Magic Quadrant. And you'll see there's plenty of other awards up there, and you can go to the uh, awards recognition page and read the details behind that. Here's the slide I promised to talk about. I'm going to go up from the bottom up fast, and I'm going to come back to the bottom one to talk more about that. At the bottom is what we call the Acumatic Cloud Platform. Built on that is Acumatic Cloud ERP and embedded industry applications. Acumatica is a horizontal ERP system. That means we cover more than one industry. Why is that to your advantage? Well, industry-specific products that it only work in one industry are subject to uh, violent shifts in revenue as industry uh, that goes, does well and then tanks. Construction is a great example of that. However, most of the common processes inside businesses today are general ledger, purchasing, inventory, things like that, and those are common across those industries, but have extensions. And we either do those through our, our industry embedded applications, which we sell, or through partners. We have, for instance, several partners that help us do tax calculations, e-commerce, and shipping, logistics, warehousing, things like that. Let's go back to the bottom um, uh, graphic right now. What you're going to see there is uh, the topics of reporting analytics, role-based access, mobile framework, approval workflow, document management, and a bunch of other stuff that's important to us and to our customers. That is in the product. When you get Acumatica, you get all that and more. 
but that we haven't we haven't abandoned our functionality. We have full functionality across all our applications. Here are just two examples found in many companies. General Ledger on the left, multi-company, multi-currency, flexible uh, sub-account reporting, some people call it dimensional reporting. As you can see, many, 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 many activities there on their general ledger that we have, and many more that's not on the, um, on the list. But I want to go to purchasing for a second, because purchasing is more than just sourcing. Our, our, our purchasing allows for requisitions, approval, approval of workflows for the requisitions, purchase orders, uh, uh, receiving a, uh, accounts payable, and all the analytics you would want with the vendors. But there's lots of data out there, just tons of data everywhere and all the systems that are available. What's important now is getting into the information, what I would call actionable information. And there's three things you need. You need um, a single source of the truth, a real-time update of all of the data, and self-service of the data. Because you have to have somebody write reports for you, it doesn't help much. So we, the system comes with 250 standard reports that if you never want to ever create your own data report, you can certainly use those. It also comes with the ability to build these dashboards with widgets based on the information that's based that is pertinent to the role that you are, are fulfilling, whether you're a, a purchasing person, a salesperson, or an accounting person. And also the things called generic inquiries. Generic inquiries allow you to go into the data, any all the data in the system, and to decide what will appear on a report. And it's a point and click. You build it. You build the filters. And um, you, the report actually shows up on the screen. And what that means is it's not just a static report. I'd be on the screen. You can drill down to the source documents. Very, very powerful tool for business intelligence. We also work with some uh, outside parties such as uh, Power BI and some uh, uh, data warehouse management products. Finally, what makes Acumenica special? There's a lot of things, but here's, here's just a, a highlight of them. One is, as I mentioned earlier, we are a technology and software publisher. We're not a sales and marketing organization. Uh, we adopt technology. We don't develop it from scratch, but we take things like artificial intelligence, machine learning, and uh, figure out how that works in our system. That's why our workflows, documentation, CRM are all embedded in our system because we understood that's where it needs to be from a technology point of view. And uh, we are a true cloud product when we down one, uh, web-based, uh, all of those technologies, including HTML5 and OpenAPI. Uh, very responsive to sign on any device, anytime, anywhere, and also choice of options of uh, the applications you want, resource levels you need, how you license, and where you deploy. Of all this is wrapped in a tiny, as a beautiful little bow of the fact that pricing is based on what you use, not on users. In other words, you actually do decide well how much resources you want uh, based on what your amount of uh, activity you're going to have on there. So you can start out with small and have a very small number of users, and as you add them, and you want the, the compute power that you need but, but, uh, by increasing uh, more users or more transactions, you can certainly upgrade that at, as you care to, or reduce that as you need to based on the needs of your business and, and business cycles you have. Let's talk about um, one of the major advantages of Acumatica's deployment options. Of course, starting out with traditional licenses, and the traditional licenses, the licenses it goes, as everybody on the phone is familiar with, you uh, purchase hardware, you purchase a perpetual license, and the ongoing costs include IT staff as well as the maintenance of the software, which runs typically about 16 to 20% of the then current list software price. So essentially, every five years you rebuy the software and you're also maintaining a staff. Option two is the public cloud, SaaS, software as a service. It's been around for uh, quite a few years. It's been very, very popular and gaining major acceptance over the last t t decade. And they typically came with a multi-tenant environment. 
which meant that everybody has the same type of, of, of same actually code base. You're going to, everybody's going to be using it alike, and they upgrade it when they feel like it because it's what happens. A good art, uh, a good. A good example of that is Facebook, and, um, and whenever you go to Facebook, you might have a different user interface, but everybody has the same code base. Moving to the crowd cloud reduces expenses, and that's why that whole movement has taken off in the last 10 years. Reality is, is that um, we have a, a tool, if you go there at astromatic.com slash calculator, you can actually calculate what your cost of doing business with a legacy system is versus SaaS. It's very popular. You can use it can use that and make all the changes you want to, to come up with a scenario that actually mirrors your operation. The, um, the the scary part is the blue, which is the ongoing cost that people don't actually calculate. So when you go and use the tool, you can and you can work through that and see how actually over time using a legacy system that doesn't have the modern features and technology in it. Uh, actually cost you more than having a new system. But not everybody can go to the public cloud. They're blocked. There's blocked for a few reasons. Uh, compliance, uh, regulations, privacy, tradition that they always had it in-house. And we learned early on that there was no way to get around some of these issues. It just was a non-starter for these folks. So we have a, a third option. It's called private cloud SaaS. And that, is, in a lot of ways, uh, takes a lot of the benefits of both of them. We get reduced IT expenses. Not everyone has the same software. Everybody has the same software. It depends how it's configured. Integrations of industry-specific systems that uh, add-ons are put onto it, like we'll hear about in a few minutes, that makes it special for the industry and improves, uh, improves the processes. And um, in a lot of cases, it, it comes fully managed and where no IT expenses are incurred by the customer, the client. So we at Acumatica are the software developers for the platform, which I told you about. And uh, uh, Tony's going to go cover what Concerto Cloud does for this industry. And together, we are better together. Tony, it's all yours. Thanks very much, Ray. Really appreciate it. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and thanks very much for joining our webinar today. As Ray mentioned, my name is Tony Nessler. I'm a channel manager with Concerto Cloud Services, a DXC technology company. And as you can see from the first slide, why Concerto and Acumatica? Why is that a solution that will work for you as our customer uh, or as our future customer? Um, Ray, Ray it, laid it out very, very nice in, in his uh, presentation. Acumatica is a solution that uh, spans multiple verticals, multiple industries. However, some of these industries have very, very strict security and compliance requirements. And that's where we come in. As you can see in our, our top bullet there, healthcare, criminal justice, retail with with payment card information, financial services. These are all heavily, heavily secured environments, heavily secured industries that require additional security and compliance standards. And Concerto can provide those to, to Acumatica's customers in conjunction. You've already heard the outstanding growth that Acumatica is going through. The top ERP seller and provider across all industries worldwide over the last couple years. Together, we can help them and help you realize your goals of implementing Acumatica software, but providing the, those compliance and security functions that your organization requires. So you've seen a couple things that I just mentioned. In the middle of the screen, we provide HIPAA, we provide CGIS, which is criminal justice, PCI, which I mentioned is credit card information. We also have SOC 1, SOC 2, and SOCs compliance, FIPS, um, just to name a few. Lastly, many, many customers, as Ray mentioned, have had their, their ERP systems on premise, but they know in order to move to the next iteration of their ERP system and implement Acumatica, they need security and compliance, and the costs associated with a HIPAA compliance or a CGIS compliance are astronomical. Hours and hours of man time, attestations, auditing, 
all of those things drive revenues through the ceiling. And in many cases, organizations just cannot do it. And so therefore, they feel like they cannot implement a new ERP system. Concerto can help you with that combined with our Acumatica partner. So who is Concerto? Concerto at a glance, very quickly. We are a provider of a fully managed cloud service that has a, a lot of, of room to grow there, right? What is a fully managed cloud service? Well, about 87%, close to 90%, nine out of 10 customers are putting their applications into the Concerto cloud because they're mission critical. They cannot go down. They must be up at all times. As you know, probably experiencing this since most customers have already had private cloud for other applications, they tend to go down. There's a lot of patching that needs to go on, upgrades. Those are all scheduled on the public cloud platform's time, not the customer's time. So we provide that 24-7, 365 support for you. We provide 99.99% .99 uptime guaranteed in our SLA something that customers of Acumatica need, want, and require as they manage your business through their ERP systems. We also provide, even though today we're talking about private cloud, we also provide hybrid cloud and public cloud services. So we do offer Microsoft Azure and AWS deployments, and we manage those all for you. Today we're going to focus on our private cloud capabilities in conjunction with our outstanding partner, Acumatica. But just know in the back of your mind that we do have those capabilities. The, the idea between moving to the cloud in the top right corner is to reduce overall IT expenses. I already talked about the costs associated with security and compliance. Those are just attestations. There's even more that goes on top of that. Concerto becomes your trusted advisor, and we can help you by eliminating those costs so you focus on your core business. You can see in the lower right-hand corner, we partner with the best and the, and the leaders in the technology industry to provide you the best environment and the best infrastructure for you to manage your business. So private cloud, very, very simple. Instead of being on a public platform where you're sharing an instance with multiple customers, you're forced to take upgrades, you're forced to take the patches whenever the public cloud provider wants to provide that, this is your own instance. This is your personal instance. Everything's customized for you. The compliance is customized. Everything's managed to your schedule. Upgrades, patches are done on your time. There is no downtime associated with that. As I mentioned, our uptime is there. We manage your solution 24-7, 365, and that's exactly what you need when you're working with Acumatica ERP to manage your business. Redundancy and failover is there, so we're backing up your system. We have geo-redundancy that covers multiple time zones, so that if there ever were an event in a certain area of the country, we would fail over immediately, and your business is still operating. Think of Florida, where hurricanes come through often. Imagine having your data center sitting locally within your office, and you have power outages for days and you don't have a backup strategy in place. It sounds funny, but many of our customers have gone through this. They realize that disaster recovery is critical. Security and compliance is a piece of that, and they need to be able to run their business, and that's where we come in to help uh, our partner Acumatica. Some of the security that comes standard. Um, these are standard offerings, folks. Um, centralized and automated anti-malware and OS patching. Very, very important, right? We've got malware, ransomware, all of these different types of uh, hackers that are trying to get into your systems on a daily basis. You say, oh, I'm too small, or I'm not an enterprise business. It doesn't matter. It happens to everybody. Your personal email can get hacked, and they hold you hostage for, for money. We take away that headache for you, and we manage that for you. You see identity management, firewall, encryption, all coming standard as an offering for Concerto with your Acumatic ERP software. Oh, by the way, we have enhanced security. Many of our customers say, okay, great. We like that. We want that, of, of course, as, as a standard offering, but we need more. We want security information event management, which is another type of encryption. We want encryption for data in transit. We can offer that as well. 
you see that's critical and important when we talk about HIPAA compliance. They want vulnerability testing, penetration testing. All of these enhanced securities can be provided to you by Concerto. And keep in mind, as, as you're managing your IT, you probably take on this expense every single year to make sure that you're managing the security and compliance within your own data center. And we're alleviating that for you. So what is our data center coverage? Well, we're, we're essentially worldwide. As a DXC technology company, we can provide you virtual, private, and or hybrid cloud services across the, across the world. Why is that important? You saw in Ray's slide early on in our conversation the worldwide uh, capabilities of Acumatica to meet customers' need. Multinational corporations have offices in several countries. We can provide the same for you and provide that security and compliance layer that you need to move your business forward. So I mentioned this already, and I'm going to move quickly through these next couple slides. We're more than just a private cloud company. I don't think it's surprising to anybody on the line today that 95%, 9 out of 10 people, 9.5 out of 10 people, they're already in the cloud. Your, your businesses are in the cloud. You're using either Azure, AWS, Google, whoever it might be from a public standpoint. You may have some private cloud already. You might have in-house private cloud with virtual VMs, but somehow, some way, you're already in the cloud and wondering, you know, how am I going to manage all this moving forward? So one of the offerings that we provide, and trust me, I'm going to move into uh, healthcare very, very soon, but one of the services we provide is managing your your public and private cloud for you. We can provide one pane of glass for you to contain and manage all of your private cloud offerings, all your public cloud offerings, and we wrap it around with 24-7, 365 support. So just keep that in mind as we talk today about our Acumatica partnership and your specific interest in moving into an Acumatica ERP system and into the cloud potentially with Concerto. You may have other issues within your business as well that you're looking to find the answers for. Uh, we could potentially help with that. Again, hybrid cloud solutions, so we do have the capabilities of integrating public and private platforms, as well as on-premises, the applications that you may have that sit on your, your uh, local sites today. Uh, we can integrate all three of those for you and provide you a hybrid strategy, and again, we could manage all that for you. Perfect. So we get to Concerto for Healthcare. Keep in mind, remember in the very beginning, I, I mentioned that we're really here as an Acumatica partner to expand the verticals that Acumatica can go to. And that's really because of their success. Customers are wanting a progressive ERP platform, which is Acumatica, and they want the security and compliance to go around it. And oh, by the way, some just refuse. They just do not want to be in a public cloud. We provide that partnership and the security and compliance necessary. No better industry demonstrates that than healthcare. So healthcare, what is driving it? Well, as you know, healthcare is always, in my opinion, a couple years behind the rest of the, the world, per se. In this instance, folks who have gone to the cloud years and years ago, healthcare is just now moving in that direction. Why? Obviously, uh, HIPAA compliance. Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act. I like to say that because it's a tongue twister, but that's HIPAA. In other words, patient data is so, so, so important that they could not poss possibly take the risk of having it go to the cloud or outside their data center walls. Well, that's being alleviated today. Why? Again, because there's hacking that's going on. The local customer cannot stay up with security technology to maintain HIPAA compliance. As I mentioned, it's very expensive, folks, very expensive. Move into CGIS or PCI or any of those ones I mentioned, retail, finance, they're all extremely expensive, and you're trying to do your best to maintain those compliances at a station, but you got to have people and hours and all these different types of things. It could take hundreds of thousands of dollars. Concerto Cloud Services, we do all that for you. We have a security and compliance team. We do all of that on a yearly basis. We have all the attestations. We have the compliances. And by the way, with compliance comes the auditing piece, which 
auditors are on site. It's not just your technology, it's your management process. We follow an ITIL management process where they watch us for weeks and months at a time before they give us the attestations uh, that allow us, in this case, to be HIPAA compliant. One thing that we eliminate by using our cloud is you're compliant all the way up to the application layer. And oh, by the way, we have a desktop tool to maintain desktop compliance as well. We protect against DDoS attacks. And through strategical planning, we're able to provide that HIPAA security around your individual instance to make sure that we protect those health insurance records. So let's talk about a recent partner success. I'm not able to name the customer, but it is in healthcare. We have several Acumatica clients running in Concerto today, and we'll talk about that perhaps uh, in our questions and answers. Hopefully some of will, will ask that question. This customer had a challenge, right? They are a, a healthcare provider, but they are a healthcare provider for underinsured or no insured patients. So they're basically almost like a walk-up clinic, but a very large one in the Northeast. And they're trying to provide affordable health care to those who perhaps really can't afford it but need it the most. So their challenge is obvious were, obviously were we need a progressive platform that we could build on. There's nothing better than Acumatica, right? They need to have an affordable solution that provides HIPAA compliance as well. They couldn't possibly take on the undertaking to get HIPAA compliant, nor could they afford the costs associated with becoming HIPAA compliant as well. They needed an affordable cloud solution married to the Acumatica platform that could be provided to them, and that's where we came in. The results are clear. They were able to obtain their solution through a trusted Acumatica partner named NextView, and as Ray mentioned, they are a development company. Every, all the sales are done by local partners, trusted advisors in their own community, and that's who we worked with in this instance. We provided the private cloud, a 99.99% uptime, of course, 24-7, 365, and oh, by the way, save them a ton of money and headache by moving it to the cloud versus trying to attempt to put this on site. There are available resources that we can provide you. You just reach out to Ray or myself. Uh, we have an ebook that talks about 12 questions around healthcare and what CFOs are thinking, what they need to know. We have a fact sheet on Concerto for Healthcare as well. If you are a customer today and you're on this line, hopefully you stayed. And even if it did not, if your industry does not apply to healthcare, we can certainly help you, Acumatica and Concerto, in heavily compliant industries. And I mentioned a few before, so reach out to us and we have collateral to help you on that. We, we can provide any of the information you need. So let me summarize real quickly why Acumatica and Concerto. Universal on-demand availability. In other words, we can get it into the cloud quicker with your partner Acumatica, rapid deployment, lower costs, and fewer mistakes than if you were doing this on your own. Best-in-class security, I think we've talked about our attestations to death a little bit, uh, but it's important. I mean, the security and compliance piece is probably the largest expense that our customers undertake when they try to do this themselves. I mentioned we can integrate with public cloud, we can integrate with on-premise applications, uh, web apps, the integrations are, are rather simple, and again, alleviates headaches when you're working with multiple solutions that may be on top of your Acumatica software. Back up in disaster recoveries, I think this needs really no explanations, but just know geo-redundancy is built in. We provide backups in case you have a system failure internally. We can get you information back uh, on a timely manner. It's not lost and strict, shrinks the cost of maintaining and supporting. I think I've mentioned that several times, but by moving to the cloud, and Ray demonstrated this beautifully in his, in his portion of the, of the presentation, moving to the cloud is less expensive than doing it yourself. Add on all those unnecessary costs that Ray was mentioning that you don't even think of, the security, the compliance, the DR strategy, the backups, uh, the manpower, lost 
revenues if the system goes down in your closet uh, or in your data center. All of these revenues you can't capture and they're just driving the cost so high. This is just a, a, a much more efficient, for, affordable solution that gives you the security and compliance and peace of mind. Thank you, Tony and Ray. That was a lot of great information. Now we're going to open up to questions. So if you have any questions for Tony and Ray, please write it in the chat section right now, and we will take your questions one by one. All right, it looks like the first question would be for Ray. Um, can you share any new Acumatica releases that we should know about? Absolutely. Let me just make a comment about how we do releases here. We have two major releases, one in the uh, basically winter and one in the uh, fall. So uh, those have where we have our major improvements, enhancements to the project. Work. And we also have two big events around that. So uh, we have a summit around that first one, and then we have the analyst day and the road shows around the second one to, to help our customers get up to speed on what we got uh, going on. In between, we have uh, uh, small updates, bug fixes, fixes everything, and those go out about twice a month. So that's how we actually maintain product like that. If you're a, 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 and you depend on your deployment, you, you depend on when you put these in. It's going to explain. They take care of that for you. The uh, last release, cleverly named 2018 Release One, is just uh, we just did that in the, in the in the winter, and that had a lot in it. But for this audience, I think the most important is the UI improvements. Uh, we are constantly improving the UI. Uh, it looks a much cleaner uh, every single time we do it because we learn what we didn't like about it because our tech customers tell us that. Uh, but uh, we also have always allowed any application to be responsive so you could see it on your tablet or you could see it on on, my, uh, on your PC or even on your phone. But the phone is a real different phone, uh, form factor than the tablet and the PC. So what we've done is allowed you to get any application or any screen you want to click on a button to enable for mobile. And it... Uh, and that means so you, when you download the free Acumatica app, you get that automatically downloaded to your uh, device. So that's kind of that was kind of interesting on the UI spot. You also did a lot with the mobile one as far as GPS tracking. If you have people uh, out and about and you have to dispatch them and things like that, it really helps knowing where they are so you can uh, reroute folks in time of an emergency. Along with UI, and as I mentioned in my presentation, the business intelligence analytics reporting, we did improvements to the generic inquiries, which again I mentioned earlier how you get all the data you want, any data you want, anytime you want. But we also created a lot of really cool triggers in BI. If things happen, you can set up uh, the triggers to get warned, not only on email, but text, things like that. So that's in there to help people respond more to actionable information. And a couple other things might be of interest to the audience is CRM, customer relationship management, has been improved, uh, with, especially in the area of marketing and quoting and things like that. And that, of course, CRM uh, is, an, is, is a fundamental product that crosses all applications. So whether you're in uh, sales or purchasing or whatever, in general ledger too, you can have, uh, receive uh, correspondence uh, with your, your clients and customers and see what you sold them and what you have offered them. Uh, lastly, for folks that have healthcare facilities and are responsible for those facilities, we really have improved our project accounting application. We did that because we came out with a construction uh, module that had a lot of construction specific functionality in it. But when you get project accounting with Acumatica, you can create jobs to, for repair, remodeling, or building new facilities. And it all works with uh, plain Acumatica uh, across the board. So everything I talked about earlier works with Project Accounting. That's a summary of some of the stuff. The rest is on our website. You can go to 2018 R1, and it'll give you detail of that. That's a lot going on on the Acumatica side, so that's great to hear. We like building software, Erica. Got it. <laughs> There's a lot, though. My goodness. Uh, innovation is definitely going on on the Acumatica side, so that's great. 
We do have another question here, and this one says, uh, what other industries could Acumatica and Concerto be a good solution fit for? Yeah, I'll, I'll take that, Erica. And uh, I, I think I mentioned it earlier, but, you know, just in case, you know, anything that requires enhanced security or compliance, if you're in the retail space and you require some sort of security around payment card information, we could be a potential good fit for you since we are PCI compliant. Uh, if you're in the criminal justice space, very, very compliant area, um, requires CGIS compliance. Uh, we have that as well. That goes hand in hand with government entities. Already mentioned HIPAA. You might have uh, retail or finance, which also has uh, a lot of sensitivity around customer data. We can certainly help in, in those uh, verticals as well. I mean, clearly, from a concerto standpoint, uh, we provide support and our cloud services to any industries, but this is specific to where we could help in terms of Acumatica customers that require uh, per perhaps some more security and compliance uh, around their cloud. Great, thank you, Tony. Uh, looks like we have one more question here. Um, how did the Acumatica and Concerto partnership first form? Got it. I'll jump in on that too, Erica. Um, I'm trying to be sensitive to everybody's time on the line today, so I'll make a long story longer. The, the customer, uh, excuse me, the partnership itself spans probably five to ten years. And why I say that is the, the senior team of Acumatica and the senior team of Concerto Cloud Services have known each other for many, many years. They've collaborated. They've collaborated on a lot of projects together, uh, informally have worked together on projects as well. And then we finally decided a couple years ago that it's a good idea for us to, to work together. So we have multiple customers in our cloud today. Um, and again, through the Acumatica channel, uh, which is the way they sell to customers like you on the line, so we have multiple partners that we've worked with for Acumatica, and they are sitting in the Concerto cloud today. Uh, the success has been so good that we formalized it, and in the last year and a half or so, uh, have kind of become uh, the go-to provider for virtual private cloud. Uh, again, it's uh, very rare, maybe becoming a little bit more prevalent as more of these industries are penetrated because the Acumatica platform works so well. Uh, most of theirs is a uh, SaaS offering, but we're involved in more and more, and you saw our recent uh, success uh, in healthcare. We have multiple healthcare customers now, and again, any of the industries I mentioned prior uh, would certainly benefit from, from working with Acumatic and ourselves. Wow, that's awesome, Tony. Thank you so much for that. So that is actually all the questions that we have today. And thank you so much to our two speakers who gave us all that great information. And thank you for those who attended today. Um, we have the contact information for both speakers displayed. And please feel free to reach out to either if you have any questions, comments, concerns. If you want to pick on Ray or Tony, go for it. Their emails are right there. And thank you so much for joining.